आर यू अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर आर यू अ फ्रेशर और अ वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ डिजाइन जॉब और अ प्रोफाइल इन विच यू कैन स्टार्ट मेकिंग योर करियर इफ येस देन यू कैन स्टार्ट योर करियर विथ ऑटोमोटिव प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन सो हियर I am presenting to you how to become an automotive design engineer with expertise in the plastic domain. Let's begin. The plastic domain contains the design of interior and exterior plastic parts like the dashboard, IP, door trims, central console, pillars, headliner, trunk trims, bumper, side cladding, etc. And here is the road map to becoming an automotive plastic product design engineer. This roadmap consists of five steps. The step one will help you to build your strong foundation. It will create strong fundamental knowledge in CAD software like CATIA or Unigraphics. You have to make expertise in surfacing and CAD methodology. In step two, you have to gain a strong knowledge of automotive plastic product design guidelines and various aspects related to manufacturing. DFA, DFM, DFS, material selection, and understanding of the strength of plastic products in depth. In step three, you are going to use all the gained fundamental information and knowledge of step two on the actual industrial projects. These projects consist of door trims, dashboards, and center console or exterior parts like bumper, cladding, etc. Step four is where you have to practice more on the industry level CAD tests. You have to learn how to tackle tricky CAD tests and how to solve them within a limited time. In step five, you will prepare yourself for the technical round of interviews where you will showcase whatever you have learned during the projects and you will tell them how you can help with your capabilities to the organization. Now. Let's go into details. Let's take step one. You have to act on CAD software. Mostly, CATIA or Unigraphics is used in the automotive industry, as both are good at surfacing. Here, you will get to know in detail the various workbench present in both software, which is highly recommended to be learned. The workbenches like Sketcher, Part Design, Surface Design. assembly drafting kinematic simulation etc you should able to go through all these workbenches while doing the industry level assignments also you have to learn advanced level of surfacing and cad methodology now let's move towards step 2 here are the tasks you have to learn about the manufacturing process and its selection you should be aware of how a bottle is manufactured by which manufacturing process the cad dashboard is getting manufactured how other plastic parts consumer goods parts etc also why that manufacturing process is used because some of the critical and complex shapes can't be manufactured with injection molding they have to be manufactured through blow molding or rotational molding You should understand how the mold concepts are and how the parts are ejected out from the mold. It means if you are not aware of all these things and if you design something it might not be manufacturable and there is no use in designing such parts. Now material knowledge is very important because you already see plastic parts around you such as a bottle consumer goods like juicer mixers polythene bags and car dashboards all of these are manufactured from different plastic materials it means all these are plastics but not the same plastic material you should understand why we are changing the type of plastic for various components now if we see the different car bodies and their types we should able to understand various car body types and what are the various plastic parts inside them now if we consider it as fundamental and you are moving towards the automotive plastic product design then you should be able to understand what the plastic product design guidelines are 
you have to be familiar and well versed with the tooling direction, parting line, draft angle, shut off angle, coring, minimum part thickness, undercut removal, and many more. You should also be able to understand what is class A surface, what is B surface, what is a closed volume, and how and why we are doing so. You should understand how a surface is generated. You have to understand what is the CAD methodology and maintain CAD history, how you can replace styling surfaces, how to check surface feasibility, how you can modify the patches which are not good in the class A surfaces, how you can update a surface as per the master sections, a surface quality check, create a surface and a surface concept design. You should be able to understand why we need B features. A to B surface with close volume is just like providing thickness to class A surface and we have to provide B side features for assembling it with other parts. So from an assembly perspective, we need to have B side features with feasibility. Because if we are not doing so, then our part or our design efforts will get zero. Knowledge of draft analysis, sink mark, Shut off angle undercut to be removed through slider lifter and parting lines. Now, you should be able to know the terms like digital mock-up, where you will understand the complete packaging of all the aggregates or the parts which is surrounding your concerned part. Suppose, you are designing a door trim. It should be surrounded by an instrumental panel or dashboard and BIW parts like a side body, BIW, door assembly, and many more. Also, you should be able to check the clash if it is falling with another part, its clearances with other parts, and its biting gap flush. And if sometimes, you found a rat hole, you have to remove them. Now, you have to be well versed with the slider lifter concepts. If you don't understand that concept very well, then you will not be able to design parts, which can be manufacturable. You will also have to make your manufacturing concerns like the undercut, which can be planned properly by a product design engineer like you during the design phase itself to save the cost. Also, you have to gain knowledge related to safety regulations. There are three major safety regulations which are American FMVSS, Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, Another one is ECE, which is European. There is one Indian that is AIS, that is from the ARAI organization. You will learn about what are the different fasteners and its application, how they are used in the automotive segment and what are their advantage and disadvantages. You will have to understand the FMA, Design for Manufacturing and Assembly. It gives you a clear idea of when we have to create a new part or not. It really gives ideas like how to manufacture things. You will have to understand about master sections. The master section is the sections that have been created before creating the actual parts. It gives you a really good idea before creating actual parts. It guides you to create 3D parts. Remastering will give you an understanding of how you can make a non-parametric part to a parametric part. As you want to make lots of changes in the shape and size, and that's why we need the same design but with different parameters, that's why we are making a dump part to a parametric part. Skin form part creation is the parts that have a soft touch. So there are lots of parts in the automotive, which having soft touch, so you will understand about soft trims and the skins. You have to understand plastic welding types and guidelines, how these plastic parts are welded and what are the guidelines to weld them. You have to understand the manufacturing defects and how these manufacturing defects can be solved. Here, there is a need to understand how a car is developed and how a competitor's car is benchmarked to develop a new vehicle. So what are the benchmarking strategies? Now, 
The next is step 3, where you have to go through the industrial level projects like door trim, floor consoles, and IP headliners. You have to follow the real workflow of a project like getting input data, getting the benchmarking and design guidelines, understanding packaging study with master section creation, power copy with features mounting as per packaging study, tooling feasibility, checking and updating part, DMU study, and creating a report with a modification if needed. The next is step 4. Here, you have to able to solve numerous CAD tests or tool tests. And it will give you the expertise to crack any card test of the company. Last but not least. That is step 5. After solving all these things, you have to make yourself more presentable and you have to present yourself in front of the interviewer. You have to showcase your knowledge of all the projects, whatever you have done. And you will learn how to showcase yourself and do the best performance in front of the interviewer. Now, here is a new step. That is step 6, which is additional, or we can call it as add-on step to enhance your knowledge. Here, you can take additional knowledge in the same domain like tolerance stack up, electrical vehicle technology, dimension system and GD and T, etc. which is an additional advantage for your career. Also, you can learn a new domain like the BIW domain as well, which helps you to understand how to work in the BIW design and development of plastic trims. We recommend to everyone to first learn only one domain, then take at least 6 months of industry level experience and exposure on that domain and then you can take additional knowledge of another domain. Now, we are going to see how ISOPARA will be going to help you in achieving these steps and in becoming an automotive design engineer. Let's begin. ISOPARA has all the relevant courses mentioned in each step earlier. These courses are made by experts and used by the learners globally to study the automotive plastic product design domain. Let's see what are these courses. Step 1 courses are Basic to Advanced CAD course in CATIA and UGNX. Master Surfacing course in CATIA and UGNX. CAD Methodology course in CATIA and UGNX. Kinematics Simulation course in CATIA and UGNX. Card Interview Questions course in CATIA and UGNX. For Step 2, the course is Fundamental course in Automotive Plastic Product Design in CATIA and UGNX. In Step 2, you have to gain a strong knowledge of automotive plastic product design guidelines and various aspects related to manufacturing, DFA, DFM, DFS, material selection, and understanding of the strength of plastic products in depth. Then for step 3, the courses are Project of Automotive B-Pillar Trim Design Course in CATIA and UGNX Project of Automotive Door Trim Design Course in CATIA and UGNX Project of Automotive Headliner Soft Trim Design Course in CATIA and UGNX Project of Automotive Floor Console Design Course in CATIA and UGNX And many more. Then the step 4 is CAD Test Courses Each CAD Test Course contains 15 CAD Tests to practice. Then last step is step 5. Here, for this step, give a call to the technical team of ISOPARA on the given number only after the completion of step 4. ISOPARA's technical team will help you in preparing for technical interview. Also, ISOPARA will also provide you with a mock interview with automotive OEM industry experts. This is how ISOPARA will be going to help you to achieve these steps and also in becoming an automotive design engineer. To discuss more, feel free to contact the technical team. Thank you.